Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a small fountain using a 3 volt water pump that we built in the previous video. Before we start anything, I have to make sure that this water pump can pump the water for at least this height. This motor working with a 3 volt, so don't expect more from it. Now it's connected, so yeah, let's try it. You have to make sure there is no air inside it first. Yep, now it's working. It's cool. More than I need. So, all we're gonna need is two blades. One of them must be smaller than the other. Wood sticks. Some of these. And a small water bump. I built this one in the previous video. Link will be in the description. Now we have everything, so yeah, let's do it. First, bring the small blade. And second, install the water pump, just like that. Now bring the big blade and dig a hole here. When it perfectly balanced, fill it with a desired amount of water. I guess this is enough. Now put a mark. Remove the water. Dig a hole at the mark. Just like that. And finally, glue this tube like that. Just like that. We're gonna put the water from here. When the water reach this limit, the water will go down. And then, water pump, we're gonna push the water back again upstairs. And the circle will keep going like that. One last test before I close it. As you can see, it's working. I will gonna use some plastic to cover the lower plate. And finally, I will add some protection here, and it is done. Now it is done. The fountain is done. It's not actually a fountain, it looks like a shower for birds. Yeah, but you can use the same techniques to make a fountain, or any design you want for decoration, or for your project, or, or anything else. The bird can stand here and take a shower because not all the bears like to step onto the water. Some of them will be scared to death before trying to put his leg on it. So this is why I built this net so he can take the shower here and leave. You don't have to go inside the water. So enough talking. Here let's try it. I will get with this bottle to measure the right amount of water. I will remove this one a little bit to see what's going on inside. I will start with 23 all with the max, with the full size. They will put it all until I see the water drop inside. Yeah, the water will start to go down. Wait for the focus. As you can see, it's dropping down. I need more water. Now I will try to add 150 ml. Because 300 would be too much. I guess this is enough. Now it's time to try it. 
it works. It should keep working like that, to never stop. Yep, the water keep going down. Now the fountain is done and it's fully working fine. And I gave the bear two options. The option number one is showering and the option number two is swimming in the pool. I know that they will be scared from it at the beginning. But after a few hours or a few days, they will like it at the end. I will try to record it tomorrow with the birds and we're going to see what will going to happen. I just put it inside. They're afraid, of course, from it. I'll just leave it like that for a few minutes. In the next video, I will gonna put this fountain outside the cage and I will gonna see and record how the bird will gonna react to it. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.